Hello, hello. Welcome to the Knight's Arm. We continue our series as forming the Caliphate as the Mamluks. And as you can see by the year and how it still says Mamluks here, we are a little bit behind. I really hope that at this point we would form Arabia, but the only thing that's stopping us is that Yemen is currently allied to the Ottomans. And after a bit of contemplation, I realized it's best that we just not befriend the Ottomans so that we can keep them weak. Because if we ally ourselves with them, they are just going to get that much stronger. And who knows, they could just turn their backs on us. And then um, with all the help that we've given them, they may just you know, turn back and use all their might to just conquer some of our stuff. So let's just not befriend them. Let's befriend Austria, some Christian nations, just so we can help take the Ottomans down. Because I feel like... If I were a, um, you know, if I'm the ruler and I'm, I'm thinking long term, I see myself as very religious, right? I see my nation as very religious, you know, strict, you know, following the Sunni faith. And I see the Ottomans sort of in the middle. They're allowing a lot of, you know, uh, Jews and Christians in their territory. They're allowed, allowing a lot of other religions. And I sort of see that as a bad thing. And so... I guess historically what I could say is I want to invade the Ottomans. I want to bring them down just so I can make sure that Jews and Christians don't get a good, uh, what's the word? They can get somewhat of a good perspective of Muslims. Is that the word that I'm looking for? A good reputation. Yeah, I don't want Muslims giving themselves as a good reputation. Therefore, I don't like the Ottomans. So I guess it's, that's my justification there. Uh, that sort of makes reasonable historically. So let's ally ourselves with the least. We are going to vassalize them any second. We need relations to be at 190 right now. It's at 131, but it's improving by zero more. So I have to be careful there. Uh, I could probably send him a gift. Can we send them a gift? Yes, we can. 25, let's do that. That's still at 156. Uh, let's do this, sure. We could build a lot more buildings here. Land force limit. Probably build some shipyards. Should I do this? Let's do it. What is this? improvement amount it's all by the same amount so let's go ahead and improve this over here even though it's going to eat up some of our money i was um, i was planning on paying back some loans but i think it's okay if we just do this let's do one more just one more religious scholars disagree okay so let's build just a couple more there we could do trade ideas Although I do want to get this up to 10. So let's just get this up to 10 first. Before I do this. But then again. I I said that last time. So now I'm going to do this. And then by the time this gets refilled again. I'm already going to be down 50%. So should I just do it? Let's just do it now. Get it over with. My global power increases. Is this going down? Yes, this is going to be going down minus two yearly. Yeah. I got to insult someone now. Can I insult you? We will gain five. We will gain... It doesn't say how much I'll gain. It just says five. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Our innovativeness is decreasing. Yes, because we're behind on this. Yeah, the the Ottomans are just claiming more and more of my provinces. I have only one leader out of the three. Okay. Um, let's. Still pay back some loans, so I, I'm not building up my army just yet. 
gain 15 autonomy, lose 50 admin. Let's lose some admin. I have some advisors here, but again, I don't, I can't afford them yet. Let's see what else is eating up. Fort maintenance. Are my forts mothballed? Oh, they're not. Okay. Yeah, I forgot they unmothballed when I went to war with Venice. Okay, another agenda of the Diet. Um, Ash. Let's see where this province is. 27 months. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, why not? We have been informed that a diplomat from the office is discovered while building spy network. The diplomat was expelled, reducing the size of the spy network to 75. Great. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They're probably doing some stuff. Yeah, some rubble stuff. Who knows? Um, treason against Memluks. Recruitment is out of. Let's go here. Recruitment is out of necessity. Something that is some that has to be a somewhat decentralized affair. Often it will be entrusted to nobles in the capital, and they are responsible to churn up a set number of men in the various provinces under our control. This is a system that to some extent relies on trust as the central government is not involved in the details of countryside mustery, and the only form of our control we have are the often sporadic inspections the army itself conducts. One such inspection in al Ari has unearthed quite a local scandal. The roles we have for this area is full of fictional names and nobody seems to know what we could actually muster from the region. Um, Let's gain some army professionalism, sure. We'll gain some unrest, but, and our modifier goes down, but that's fine. We still have a lot of men in reserves. Yeah, this is this situation with Yemen is really unfortunate. Um, our trust is still down, and it's still stuck at twenty-five. It doesn't really say here what's happening. They're threatened by us. I could probably do something like influence nation. As a great power, we will influence the petty country of Yemen towards our diplomatic position, altering the opinion of us by twenty-five for ten years. They will also receive one to the monarch point power category they are weakest in currently um, military for this decision. Their trust of us changes by five. And we'll pay them a sum of 63 paid out in a year. So that's 60 divided by 12. That's about five per month. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Let's influence them. We could force them to break their lives with the Ottomans, but they are not going to do that. Um, give us this. Expansion of al Qusar Madrasa. Yeah, I think I've done this before. Let's do... Yeah, why not? Let's do this. So, Yemen now, hopefully, will get their thing changed, right? 25, now it's 30. Their trust is still very low. Could, can we influence them again? Oh, we're already influenced them. Okay. Um, this won't really do anything. We could probably hunt for pirates, but who knows? Let's do Alexandria. Let's hunt for pirates in Alexandria. And we're pretty much saving up money now to repay these loans. That's the only thing that's holding us back. My men still look... My men look Asian. They don't really look Middle Eastern. Yeah, they have that... They have the mustache, which is... You know, they usually they have uh, pretty hefty beards. Copying um, the Prophet. Peace be upon him. So this is improving quite a bit, but it's still not that much. You could probably do something like this. Oh, we have to pay them for uh, fleet basing rights? Oh, I didn't even read that. I just clicked that too quickly. We are converting them. What about you? 
Off of vassalization? No, is this stuck? Yeah. What about if we steer trade? Sure. Uh, can we send them a gift? No. I wonder when that finishes. You could offer military access. Sure. That increases it. You could probably influence them as well. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cheap. Okay, finally, we got it. So let's go ahead and offer vassalization. Poor uniforms. One of our cloth suppliers has been found to be supplying substandard cloth for our army uniforms. We understand the troops are not impressed. Uh-oh. I didn't even check when that... Um, when that expires. Alright, so they are our vassals. Great. Let's repay a loan. A 4% is sure. Let's double check our uh, morale. Yeah, poor uniforms. I don't know when that expires. Our now land maintenance is down. Okay. Anatomical theater. Local doctors in Erminic have begun to pay good money to study fresh corpse. The physicians claim this allows them to improve their knowledge of the human body, documenting it for the betterment of mankind. Improving the grasp of human anatomy is not an argument that impresses locals. When the graves of recently deceased are found open in the morning, however, the citizens of Erminic are now demanding that we restrict these horrible practices and that we put a stop to the grave robbers. Yeah, so this is interesting because the Quran really doesn't mention anything about, you know, performing. Uh, you know, performing ano anatomies. Is that the word? Performing an autopsy. Yes, that's the word. Performing an autopsy on, um, you know, deceased body. So that's very interesting about, you know, how Islam does it legally, how they, you know, allow research in the, in the, in the human anatomy. So, what should we do? We can get some innovativeness. Loose and prestige, local unrest. We could probably do this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's look at our institution. Yeah, so we are spreading over here. We could probably do over here also. Um, let's do this. Yeah, and I, I can't even forcefully do it because I haven't none of I don't have that many provinces. Let's keep moving towards Mrs. and baby. Let's keep doing it. Yep, so we're getting some bonuses and morale of armies, which is good. Uh we could see some land. Let's do it. And then let's do this. Great. I could probably revoke some of these. What does this do? This gives me the equilibrium goes up. Influence goes up. Absolutism goes down. So I think when we go absolute, when, when the age of absolutism comes, I should probably get rid of this. Um, tax modifier goes down, yearly prestige goes up. Let's get rid of this. Ooh, minus 25%. Um, 25%. I didn't even check that. Uh-oh. I forgot that when I get rid of this, it gets down by 20. Damn it, I did not realize that. Huh, I should probably do something now to get it back up. Um... Should I do this? Oh no, I already have this. Um, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Yeah, I, I should have. Again, I gotta make sure I read everything before I just randomly start clicking stuff. 
All right, Yemen, is this going up? I feel like it is. Or is that just my placebo effect? Um, I'm influencing them, but really sort of at a standstill. I mean, there's no point in proclaiming the guarantee because I'm going to try to annex them. Okay. Well, let's just repay some of these loans. Repay loans. Let's repay this one. Oops, what am I doing? Let's repay this one, sure. This one. Yep. Okay, we're left with one loan. One loan. So let's go ahead and start building up our navy yes let's start building up our navy a bit let's get some galleys and let's get some more caravels yeah we could probably throw in a carrick yeah what the heck let's throw in a carrick okay so our diplo technology we need to do that Although, we could probably do... We could probably have an extra merchant. This is what I need. I probably should do... Uh, you see, I don't know if I should do this first or if I should do this. Monthly war exhaustion. This, I mean, ours is already at zero, yeah. I don't really care about this. I mean, I mainly care about... You see, I should probably just leave this like that. I don't really care about it as much... Yeah, I mean, let's just leave it like that. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with not completing it. Unless I'm really, um, I have some really excess admin, I could probably do it. Let's see what this is. Let's convert you. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Never mind. We can't do this now. Let's do you. Uh, let's get that extra merchant. I know this is going to hurt us technology-wise. Um, yeah, and I think a big factor of that also is our institution spread. We have one province that converted. Yeah, these are all, most of these are institution, um, have state edicts of institution spread. Uh, let's go ahead and... I was gonna do something. Um, oh yeah, I have a free merchant now. So what I could do with this merchant is I could transfer trade power over here. Yeah, I mean, I could probably do that or... I can also collect from trade here, but this is only 6.1. Hmm. What should I do? I don't have anybody. Wait, where are my people? I have one in Aleppo, one in Alexandria, and one in the Gulf of Aden. Hmm. I definitely want to have someone here. Am I making some in income here? Yeah, I don't think I'm making no income. I just can send it forward. Huh. Let's go ahead and... You see, if I send this over, this will give me some more trade power. A transit note will use your trade power to increase the flow of money downstream. This also sends some power upstream as long as you already had power in the previous node. Okay, so we'll do this one here. Let's transfer trade power. Okay, he's going to arrive there in a couple days. 
Okay, so he's transferring 399 upwards, which is I think 50% of 850. And then I could probably send a merchant here to collect, which is probably what I'll do. How's my relationship with Yemen? Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Oh, it did increase to 180. Okay, growth of the printing industry. The ability to mass produce the written world word would revolutionize the spread of information. And in many ways, early modern society as a whole, pioneered by Renaissance men such as Venetian printer Aldus Manitus, the new art helped fuel the Renaissance by making the translated classics more widely available. Later, the Red of Reformation benefited greatly from the ability to spread critical publications and translations of the Holy Scriptures. Now that printing has matured as a technique and spread throughout Europe, hundreds of thousands of copies of everything from religious and political pamphlets to scientific treaties and instructions on how to behave as circulating the content are circulating the content continent. With print shops growing ever more commonplace, rulers have found it hard to contain the new technique as the comparatively easy means of production makes it easy for censorship to be sidestepped by moving business across a border or even just changing the name on a title page. So countries that have not yet fully embraced printing press. Wow, so I'm behind on two uh, institutions, which is, I'm taking a massive hit. I mean, there's really nothing that I could do to embrace. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. Let's repay some loans. I think we should be good to go in loans, loan wise. Let's go ahead and have you come over here. How is our limit doing there on the Navy? Okay. Let's go ahead and start building some troops. Okay, let's look at the troops that we already have. So let's do 10 of you there. Let's do 10 of you. Okay. All right, another Diet. Where's Commer Bay? Uh, I need to have how much trade power? 50% or more? Huh, is this increasing or not? Yemen is the largest trade power share in the node. Yemen makes the efficient. Hmm. How is Yemen the largest trade power? I should probably privateer over here so I could steal some trade power from them. Should I do this one or should I just do the mosque? probably do this because I want to increase their loyalty all right let's do this let's have some extra ships what are they doing here these are just all galleys and cogs I have one there this one is protecting trade protecting trade let's split you up I mean, I can use galleys to protect trade also. Let's bring some galleys out. Oh, they're mothballed, so let's send you here. Let's hunt pirates. Oh, I need a privateer. Let's hunt pirates in... Why can't I do it in the Gulf of Aden? I need a dock here in order for me to do it. That's weird. It's only letting me do it in Alexandria and Basra. So I guess you can go back there and continue being mothballed. 
Okay, so just merge you, moth, ball you. Let's split you in half. So protect and trade, stop doing that. Split in half, so one half can protect trade. The other half could privateer, Gulf of Aden. We can propagate religion in Hormuz. Ooh, you see, I totally forgot about these. So right now we're maximizing profit. One province is going to be converted. Hmm. Improve relations, siege ability, spy network construction. What we'll do is in the Gulf of Aden, we'll probably... Although I need the trade node power. What I could do is I could do establish communities, which gives me a 15% improved relations. Let's do this, actually, for now. And set in effect for 12 months. Let's do it. And the one over here, I mean, do I have any provinces? There's really nothing I could do with Belichistan. We're allied with the Ottomans. I can't really do religion-wise, right? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing I could do with them. So let's... Why is it telling me that I could do one of these in Hormuz? Is Hormuz... Converted province? It is. It is Sunni. I mean, maybe they're talking about Ibra over here? I already have someone. Yeah, so there's no point in doing that. Let's do the improved relations with Yemen. Because I really want this to go up. So I could uh, offer them an alliance so that my trust goes up. But again, it doesn't tell me how much it's going up. I can do one of these. This is going up. Why can't I do this? I have no Circassian provinces. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, let's do this, I guess. Let's look at the culture group. Is that a culture? I mean, it looks like it's not. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's move towards mysticism, local arrest, tax income. Ooh, that's good also. Let's do that. We can invest in this, although we could wait and do this. Again, state house. Our governing capacity goes up. Yeah, we'll probably want this. This is extremely slow. All right, so that's it for this episode. I dragged it out too long. We're still stabilizing. We're going to rebuild our military. And we should get ready to go to war with the Ottomans again. I mean, that's all. That's the only thing I could say because I want to get Yemen. I'm going to try to do it diplomatically. But if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to declare war on them. So that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one.